Hello children. Welcome to class 11 English online class. Are you all happy? This is just a substitute class. Okay. So I am going to uh, summarize the lesson, the portrait of a lady. I hope you all understood the lesson, the portrait of a lady. What does this lesson talk about? Who has written this lesson? I have a lot of questions. Can you answer? Okay. Now see children, this lesson talks about the bond, the love that the author and the grandmother they have. They cherish their relationship, the love between the grandmother and the author. That is what is depicted in this lesson. And who has written this lesson? The writer of this lesson is Kushman Singh. Yes, Kushman Singh is an Indian writer. He has written this beautiful story, the portrait of a lady. What's the meaning of portrait? Portrait is, is a painting, it's a drawing, okay, about uh, having a face, okay, which will be uh, kept in a frame. The portrait of a lady. So the author, here he talks about his grandmother throughout this lesson. He was, he is highlighting how great grandmother she, he has, right. Now see, in the beginning, in the starting of the story, the writer describes the grandmother. How is the grandmother? The grandmother is very old. The writer, he couldn't imagine that the grandmother was pretty much. But the author, he agreed that the grandmother was very beautiful. And what does he say about the beauty of the grandmother? See here. Yes, she was beautiful. She was like the winter landscape. She was very beautiful. Beautiful lady. But the author doesn't agree that she was pretty. And even he couldn't digest that the lady, that is the grandmother was uh, playing uh, some games when she was young. All those things are like a story for him. Like the old prophet story which the grandmother used to tell to the grandchildren. Yes. What he says, he says she often told us of the games she used to play as a child. That seemed quite absurd. He couldn't imagine grandmother playing games because on his thought, the author always thinking that the lady was very old. She was remaining old for many years. See, he has said, she was an old woman. She had been old and wrinkled for the 20 years that I had known her. For the past 20 years, the old lady, the grandmother, she remained old for 20 years. There is no change at all. She had some wrinkles on the face and the same wrinkles she had for 20 years. She was wearing white colored sari. She was wearing for 20 years. Okay, she had that white hair. Everything, puckered face, everything. Okay, she was remaining old for a long time. And even the writer talks about the grandfather. Grandfather was more than 100 years old. He was having a long beard. Okay, the beard came to the chest. It had covered the main part of his chest. Having long beard and the grandfather could have only grandchildren according to the writer because he uh, didn't think that grandfather would have married and he had a wife. All those things are unimaginable for the writer. He was thinking grandfather as a grandfather and now grandmother. She was the description of the grandmother is given in the beginning of the story. Right. Grandmother was very old. She was beautiful. She was always telling her prayers, rolling the rosary and she was uh, living a peaceful life and the writer and grandmother, both of them, they were living in a village. Where had the parents gone? Yes, the parents had gone to a city for some job or whatever it is. Parents were not there. So the writer, he was living in grandmother's house and they were living in a village. And now the daily act activity, the routine act uh, activity of their grandmother. What the grandmother used to do? Grandmother used to wake up the writer. See, father and mother is not at home. So grandmother, she has taken the sole responsibility to bring up the writer. See, that is the relationship the writer and the grandmother had. Grandmother used to wake him up and then she will recite the morning prayer and when she was, when the writer was taking bath, the grandmother used to sing morning prayer. Why? 
so that the writer would listen the songs and he would by heart the songs that is the uh, idea of grandmother see very good grandmother always trying to teach the child right so grandmother was singing some prayer songs when the writer was taking bath but the writer had not memorized those songs on the other hand the writer loved to listen the songs of the grandmother okay the, the she had a very beautiful voice he used to listen but he had not by heart the songs right i listen because i loved her voice that is what he did he listen because the writer loved the voice of the grandmother right now see here and then grandmother would uh, make him ready to go to school she would prepare stage chapati she would spread some butter on it he and uh, with a grandmother and a writer both of them they used to go to school and while going grandmother would also take more chapatis for the street dogs look at the kindness of the old lady okay she had cooked food for the grandson and remaining chapatis she used to uh, feed the stray dogs who will take care of the stray dogs they are in the road side whatever they get they eat but this grandmother so loving lady kind lady she used to take the chapatis with her for feeding the street dogs right both of them they used to this is the morning work okay they get up they sing songs pray and everything taking chapati and getting ready to school slate and everything pen all the stationery items is mentioned that with that preparation they used to go to school where is the school the school is attached near the temple and the priest is the one the temple priest he is the one who used to teach alphabets to the children so when the writer was learning alphabets with the priest grandmother was sitting in the temple and she was praying or reading scriptures she was reading scriptures by sitting in that temple so after the school when they were going home a grandmother used to feed the dogs by throwing the chapatis and all the street dogs they were barking and eating that chapatis that is what written right now like that the writer had a very happy life the writer was very happy okay staying with the grandmother he did not miss the parents because grandmother's love was so tasty it was so good okay he enjoys the love of grandmother he was learning everything and he was so happy okay days going on by this this rolled by and after some years the parents came and took grandmother and the writer to city right grandmother and the writer they shift they were shifted to city both of them went to city now when they went to city then there is a slight gap in the relationship of grandmother and the writer when they went to the city now grandmother was not permitted to take the boy to school because it is a city life totally different he was studying in an english medium school he used to go by school bus so grandmother stopped coming to coming to school with him and the relationship though know, there is a small uh, gap in the relationship and even when he came back from school grandmother used to ask him what did you learn and he used to say ma ma grandma we learned the principles of archimedes we learned this we learned that in science this that like that he would be telling which grandmother had not understood because for her teaching is uh, teaching god like so based on uh, religious because they learned in a school which is attached to the temple so by the there is no re- religion no religious activities no god was taught in the school so grandmother was unhappy and one day the writer said grandma today we learned music and that day onwards grandmother stopped asking him about uh, anything because uh, music is meant for only for the people who are very bad according to her okay so she stopped questioning him about his studies okay so now you see slowly gradually uh, there is a, the gap is becoming big okay she was she was not liking him uh, going to the english medium school and studying all those things right days passed by now the young boy the writer from village he had some schooling and now city he had some schooling and now he finished his school now he had to go to university now when he is appointed or when he get get a chance to study in university uh, he had got a separate room 
now there is there is more gap but okay, earlier they were staying at least sleeping they used to sleep together other than that no other activities no uh, they 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 have, there is a big gap but now uh, even the room is separated the writer used to sleep in another room so uh, that sleeping that staying together also is missed out now so uh, the, the total gap now so he was studying in a university and he was but now grandmother after coming to city she used to uh, feed the sparrows she used to throw the and uh, small uh, food crumbs to the sparrows and the sparrows used to come and that half an hour she would enjoy being with the sparrows the sparrows would come and sit on her shoulder on her head on her lap but she would not disturb them she, she would enjoy feeding the sparrows and she was always busy in in her handloom she was uh, spinning she was always spinning the cloth okay now he finished his college also university now for higher studies he had to go to abroad the writer had to go to abroad now see he had to study 5 years in a foreign country already grandmother was a very old lady certainly when she when he returned grandmother would be alive or not we don't know okay but grandma was very confident she came to the railway station to send him off and she even kissed him on his forehead and she waved bye bye what happened that was the confidence and the writer was so unhappy he thought that was the last physical touch grandmother kissing him that was the last physical touch when i come after 5 years whether grandma would be there or not i don't know so writer went away for his higher studies to abroad 5 years passed away after 5 years when he returned to india he was so happy to see grandma in the platform waiting to receive him grandma was standing there and she received the writer the writer was so happy to see grandma after 5 years so that day grandma was very happy she stopped her usual activity she usually she used to spend lot of time in prayer okay with the with her rosary but that day she didn't pray but she sat with her sparrows that activity she did and then in the evening she called all the ladies all the neighborhood women everyone were everyone was called and she took some drum and she was beating the drum and singing songs in praise of soldiers she was singing happy songs because she was singing for hours so she was very happy happily she was singing songs then the writer and all the other family members they had to come and stop her grandma enough stop singing like that they stop so that day grandma went home without prayer the next day she became ill she became very sick the doctor said okay she she will be all right shortly but grandma said no i would die my time had come i would be no more i'm going to die so i have not prayed yesterday so leave me alone let me pray like that she said and she lay down on her bed she started to pray counting her rosary when the family members when they were real when they thought what was happening then they realized grandma died her lips stopped moving the rosary fell from her hand she lay down without life she died the writer was looking at her such a good relationship such a great loving grandma she is no more okay the funeral activity funeral okay now the last ceremony is set up they they covered her with their cloth and her body was kept on the hall and uh, during that time all the sparrows came thousands of thousands of sparrows did the sparrows know that the mother the grandmother is no more we don't know whether the sparrows have that much sense to realize that grandmother's death we don't know but that day the whole house the place where grandma was kept the body was kept everywhere sparrows more number of sparrows more than usual numbers lot of sparrows more sparrows came they were all sitting and the writer and the family members they threw some food crumbs to the sparrows and the grandmother's body was taken what happened the next day the servant had to clean had to broom okay it is written that 
next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dust bin that means what even the sparrows had not uh, come to eat the food crumbs that day that day they all came to salute grandma to say goodbye to grandma because grandma is no more all the birds they didn't come to eat they came to take part in the funeral ceremony of the grandma all the sparrows such kind of love the grandma had earned from the birds the birds came and they came and they sat when the grandmother died they all sat with the people and they all flew away they didn't eat any crumbs that day they were hungry they didn't eat because they loved grandma they had a very good relationship with grandma now this writer kushwal singh he was cherishing this happy moment with grandma oh how happy i was with grandma such a great personality good character right in the village days he when he was a school boy he loved being with grandma then when he came to city there is a gap okay and when he went to university little more gap and when he went to abroad a big big gap but when he came grandma was so happy why did she sing very happy on that day on seeing the grandson such a great lady but she is no more now god has taken the life of grandma grandma is no more grandma is no more so now look at the uh, expression or feelings of uh, the writer he missed grandma that is why he had made a portrait of grandma the picture the drawing of grandma and it is hung on the wall and the writer has written very beautifully about the grandmother's love grandmother's relationship okay he missed grandmother that is the reason the portrait of lady is in your hand now so this is the story it is a very simple story the portrait of a lady written by krishnan singh it talks it speaks a great volume of love of grandmother on the grand side hope you have all understood the summary of the story already you have been taught just read the story line by line and enjoy the moment and at the end of the story you will have a great sense of uh, feelings that you will miss certain things you will you will love your grandma right in your life also my dear children if you have any grandmother grandfather treat them well treat them well love them care them and take care of them that is the moral of the story life skills you have to take care of the elders not only your grandparents even anybody anybody you see on the road or anywhere please help the elderly people certainly god will bless you thank you children take care god bless you all bye bye